and it just so happens that the size of those circles, all four of them, is always a constant. Again, as long as there are no vertical curves or loading and everything else. We're talking, you know, track like this. Well, actually, we do have vertical curves here. So what you're doing is you're managing the, the, the traction allocation by only two sets of controls, hands and feet. You're, you're, control, excuse me, you're controlling the momentum of the car and how the weight goes to the front end. Remember, those circles are getting small in the back. And you turn the wheel just a little bit, that thing's really going to come around. But wait, that's the view I wanted. I want to settle it down. If you have this happening inside your body, the back end sliding. And we talked about setting a little weight back there. But if you've got this adrenaline dump, you've got your fight or flight mechanism going, and you rationally think, oh yeah, 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 gas pedal. Boom, you step on that gas pedal, you're gonna finish yourself off. You're gonna spin. Because the tire, once it's sliding, loses 30% of traction. Once a tire starts to slide, you go into what they call the kinetic coefficient of friction, the sliding coefficient of friction which is roughly 30% less than the static. Okay, look at this, look at this. Okay, this thing is spinning and spinning and spinning. You're doing 120 miles an hour down the track. So this thing is spinning so fast, there's no way you could read it. In fact, it's 28 times a second. That contact patch is hitting the ground. How fast is the tire going right there? This thing's spinning, the car's doing 120. How fast is the tire going right there? Zero, it stopped. At the bottom, it stopped. If the tire were, were moving, it would be sliding. But what, as long as you keep that tire rotating, the contact patch is stopped on the ground. And because, think about this, when you go to move furniture with your friend, you know, hey man, let's keep going. You, you push, you push, you push, and once that thing breaks free, you go, keep going, keep going, don't stop. Okay, because that sliding coefficient of friction is less. Because if you stop, you've got to break it free again. Well, think about that. If you're losing 30% traction, and the name of the game is to keep the tires rolling, that's because the contact patch is stopped on the ground as long as the, con as long as the wheel is rolling. And you've got 30% more traction. So the name of the game is to go, when you have that adrenaline dump, just boom. You go into that state, you go, it's cool, but that back end is sliding. You've lost 30% traction. What the name of the game is to get that contact patch stopped. And you have to do what's called maintenance throttle. You've got that adrenaline dump, so your body's racing. And the way I tell people to do it, and it works, is to think of setting your foot on the gas pedal. Just think of setting your foot on the gas pedal, and chances are you'll give it just enough gas to get that tire going back at vehicle speed. And once that tire is going back at vehicle speed, the contact patch is now stopped with the ground. You've got 30% more traction, and off you go to the next turn. That's kind of how this little friction circle works.